Greetings and welcome back to Banished. So, I've noticed that I don't really have a lot of food at the moment, so I guess I'm gonna have to try and fix that. Um, a while ago, I think we did trade for some, uh, which is it, carrots? And, I guess that's it. So we do have carrots, so that means that we can go make a farm somewhere. And uh, I guess I'm gonna place it around here because we already have this uh, pasture. So it seems to fit. Uh, right. Let us go into crop fields. And, uh, yeah, well, since I don't have a lot of food at the moment, I do want to try and see if we can get a, a, a harvest in before uh, winter arrives. So I'm going to make it about this size. It doesn't need to be very big. All right, and uh, oh yeah, I guess I was building a, a ton of other stuff. So let's uh, pause the Forester's Lodge. It's not that critical at the moment. I really only need all of this to uh, make extra firewood so that I can trade this firewood so for uh, something else. Uh, what else do I have? Um, right here, we got a, a log cabin. We got a small barn. And is that it? I think it is. So let's unpause. Uh, now we got the two builders to go work and to build this crop field. Hopefully it's uh, quickly finished. I'm also gonna get rid of my uh, stone miners. It's I have plenty of stone at the moment and I don't really need it. I just want more people to go uh, do all sorts of jobs. Because I really need to fix this uh, food issue. I don't want to have people starving once again, like last time. So... And once we got that done... You know what, I guess I could build another uh, crop field as well. Um, let's see... Something like this, perhaps? Uh, looks like I got a trader, but I don't think I can trade anything. Uh, it's a bunch of seeds, that's way too expensive. Yeah, I only have a 1200 worth of firewood here, so that's not good. I'm gonna dismiss him. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, let's put someone in here. And let's sow some carrots. Now, it is early summer. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Wait a minute, didn't we just assign someone? Well, that's odd. Oh well. Uh, so we got two farmers at the moment. But somehow... I'm not sure why it only places one down here. I only got one farm. So I guess this guy is waiting for this farm to be done. Okay, well, fair enough, but that's probably not gonna be done by the time. Well, end time, I guess. Now, is this one being sowed yet? Hmm, not sure, but yeah, food is really on the limit at the moment. One extra harvest could uh, make the difference. And I guess this field is a little bigger. It requires uh, four builders. This one only had three, I think. Oh well. Let's just uh, let them do their thing. We actually have uh, two farmers assigned to this one now, so it should go rather quickly. If they actually bother sowing, that'd be great. Maybe I'm too late, I'm not sure. It's possible. We got this one as well. Alright, so we got two farms. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get enough food in time. Don't look like any of the farmers have done any work here, but uh, it's already summer. Late summer. Yeah, that's not good. 
Right, well, other than that, uh, let's put another gatherer in here. We need some extra food. Uh, let's get rid of these builders for now. You know what, actually I was gonna build some... No, I gotta, I gotta focus on food. I was gonna build some market cards, but I don't really have the opportunity at the moment. Yeah, it sucks. We weren't in time for another yield. Well, for uh, one yield. So, let's hope that we can survive the winter. Because the amount of food is really low. Now, uh, let's put another one in here. Let's also get my uh, laborers to go collect some wild food. I guess uh, they can collect from around here. There is a storage barn right next to it, so... That shouldn't be too much of an issue. And what else should I be doing? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait out this winter. I don't want my builders. Well, I don't want to have any builders at the moment because I want to make sure that I have enough food. So. Uh, let's switch this guy over to reeds and feathers. We should still be gathering reeds from the shore house. Yes, we are. Now we should have plenty of feathers, I hope. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, so that's good. Food supply is uh, going up a little bit. And for some reason I closed that window down. Um, and the woodcutter died. It's also not good. Let us... Yeah. Well, uh, we're up to 600. That's very good. And we're down to 200. So it is gonna go up and down. Just gonna make sure that we survive this winter. Afterwards, we can get a whole bunch of... Harvests from back here. We are doing uh, pretty well. We got plenty of adults at the moment, and uh, things are going nicely. Quite a bit of students, a bunch of children, so it is going uh, a lot quicker than in the last playthrough. Because I guess mostly because I am playing on speed five instead of speed two. But still, I think I did build uh, houses a lot quicker as well. So things are going nicely. I guess. <laughs> People aren't very happy though, so I'm gonna have to try and fix that. At least we've got a graveyard for all the dead people, so that shouldn't be the issue. And let's up this herbalist limit. Alright, well, uh, we still got food, luckily. I guess it's a good thing that I did assign some extra gatherers. And uh, we're already maxed out on hunters, apparently. So, uh, what else could I do? I'm not sure if I should assign more uh, fishers or... What the hell is uh, the job itself called? Fisherman. Alright, well. Two fishermen per fishing dog seems appropriate since they can only fish in this river, which means that they don't have that much water in the radius. Uh, right, what does this person has? Uh, bison. Well, I guess I could trade for one. That's not good enough, I'd say. I, I don't need bison at the moment. I have chickens and I have carrots. That should uh, suffice for the time being. I don't have enough laborers to go put down a whole bunch of uh, pastures anyway, so... Okay, well... There's not that much food. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna be placing down those market cards that I was thinking about. I'm gonna place a edibles market card pretty much around every 
a small village. Later on, I'm going to be uh, replacing them with uh, small markets or uh, any of these markets. But uh, for now, I think the Edibles Market Guard is good enough. Uh, let's see, so we got a house down here. I'm going to be placing it. Uh, someone died of old age. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to place it maybe here. So I guess that uh, house isn't going to be in range. That would be unfortunate. But I do want to make sure that all these houses are in range. So I'm going to be placing it on the other side back here. That should do. I got no builders. so And I was going to place another one around here as well. Next to the gatherer's hut. There we go. Now, uh, once winter is gone, I'm going to assign a few builders to uh, get things going. Because uh, next year, we should have plenty of carrots, so hopefully that fixes my food issue. Although it's still not um, very reliable, I must say. It'll have to do. Alright, well... I also send out a bunch of people to go gather uh, food, some of the laborers, I guess. Let's uh, do that again. Let's uh, send them over here. Well, I only got one laborer, I guess, but still. And for us, things are going nice, I guess, although, well, we got a bunch of people dying of old age, but that's not really, well, terrible. That happens anyway. And I think my ages, well, the ages of my people are fairly uh, spread out. We do have a bunch of uh, people in their 60s down here, but I think we are safe. Let's take a look at the demographics, if I can. Um... Does it show their age? I guess not. Maybe it does in the town hall. I'm not sure, but it certainly doesn't back here. Alright. Well, looks like food is fine. We should be working here now, I guess. Okay, that's good. So we'll have two harvests of carrots next year. That's great. And... I guess I'm gonna leave the gatherers for now. I think eventually I'm gonna be able to get rid of two of these to... Actually, let's uh, assign at least one builder to go build. Well, let's do two, because one just became a laborer. Then we can build these market guards. That'll be good to uh, distribute food and uh, to make it so that my other people are more efficient so that they only have to make one stop to gather all their food. Then after those are done, I'm gonna unpause some of the other buildings because I'm gonna start back here with uh, this house. Maybe not, do I need another house actually? I'm not sure if I do. I got uh, some old people that are about to die, like back here and over here. So that house would be empty soon. Well, I'm gonna build it anyway. I got plenty of people on the way, so that's not an issue. And honestly, it shouldn't take that long for them to build this. It only needs a bunch of logs. Okay, well, there we go. That's finished. Uh, the other one was finished as well, so let's unpause this building. And food is going down once again, but hopefully they can hold on until we get carrots. Not sure how long it's gonna take. In the meantime. 
time, I guess I could assign at least one person as a vendor. You know what? I'm gonna assign this one. Looks like we just got another laborer as well, so um, what am I gonna do? I don't really want to get rid of all the laborers because I want to make sure that if the teacher dies, it reminds me, let's take a look how old the teacher is. Uh, 59. Well, I guess they can live for a, a few more years, but you never know. Alright, so we should be getting these harvests fairly soon. Which is good. Also, I don't know exactly what the ideal size is for the farm but I guess I can do some uh, trial and error so if I see that for example this farm is easily uh, being managed by one farmer I could uh, just during the winter get rid of it and build a bigger one but I think uh, for now I'm gonna leave it as it is I think it's uh, pretty much the size that it should be and food is about 200 that's not a lot but it's been hovering at around that for quite a while now. Should be getting a big boost soon. Okay. And it looks like they completed this building. That's good. Uh, what else was I building? Uh, we got a small barn. Let's build this. I actually have a lot of people now problem with a lot of people is that they also eat a lot of food so this won't be enough I'm gonna need to build more farms I guess eventually uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of smaller farms around here as well this isn't necessarily gonna be a farming village but it is gonna have farms so all this forestry industry is gonna be moving down here, I guess. I got room for about uh, two Forester's Lodge. So that's good. Then I can uh, build some farms over here. And then I guess the gatherer is gonna be gone as well. Although I can leave the gatherer for the time being. Because as long as there's some wildlife and uh, trees around here, the gatherer can gather some stuff. And I think we're getting the first carrots now. Yeah, we are. That's good. Hopefully uh, it helps us survive the winter. So I have two laborers. But yeah, I never put someone in here. Or did I? No, apparently not. Oh, I guess it's because I finished... No, I don't know. Oh well, never mind. Well, not a lot in this one, apparently. Only fish. But uh, with this small barn back here, we should be able to gather more things in one area. So maybe it's gonna work. Normally it should work. Especially if we get more and more food. Alright, well. Who actually lives down here now? Some young people. That's nice more children so yeah things are going rather nice we're up to 30 people now that's more than i had in the last playthrough despite the fact that last playthrough went for i don't know was it 20 episodes can't recall i think it was 20. right and we also have uh, the chandlery i guess i could put someone in here for now we should have a bunch of beeswax uh, 36, that's actually not much. Let's take a look at the full inventory. Uh, oh, well, uh, 200 beeswax. Should be making a bunch of candles from that. I can use it to make a deep mine around here. Uh, I actually, actually don't have any laborers at the moment. I'm gonna get rid of one gatherer. Wow, this snow is early. 
it's only uh, in the middle of autumn. So we did lose a whole bunch of carrots from this. Did I build them too big? I don't think I did. I usually build them this size, but... I'm gonna let them have another go at these uh, farms next time. And, uh, we do have a trader. Let's take a look. Uh, seeds, seeds, seeds. Well, I don't have enough firewood to trade for it, so I'm just gonna dismiss him. You know, I don't mind dismissing these guys because uh, the nice thing about this farm supplier is that we constantly get uh, traders with seeds or livestock. That uh, compared to uh, the regular trading posts, which uh, is actually terrible for uh, all this sort of stuff. You can sometimes wait like uh, eight, ten years or something before we ever get a seed. So, yeah. Well. <laughs> right, well, uh, we got a, a nice amount of food, I must say. Even though we only had uh, half a carrot harvest, it's already been uh, distributed everywhere. So that's nice. Okay, and my builders aren't doing anything. I was supposed to be building stuff. Let us uh, continue back here with the Forester Lodge. I guess I should also build a, a woodcutter down here as well. So let's just queue that up. I'm gonna need a house here as well. Well, yeah, let's do the house first. So. We got a log cabin, because it uh, sort of makes sense down here. Uh, I guess over here is fine. And then we also have the... If I remember where it is... Uh, woodcutter, there we go. We're also gonna need a road over here to this bridge. Uh, let's see. Thing like this. Oh, okay. That should be enough. All right. So the food issue has been resolved for now. But as I said, I'm gonna need more farms because I'm gonna keep getting more and more people. Um, I guess I might put down some more carrot farms. Just uh, not entirely sure where. I guess I could uh, continue back here, maybe, a little bit. Or do I put uh, another pasture? I sort of think that I do get more food from a crop field than from a pasture. Let's take a look, actually. Amount of eggs. Uh, previous season, about 200 eggs and uh, 16 chicken. And from this I got 500 carrots. And about the same, so... Well, actually it seems about the same for the size, but then again these uh, fields only got harvested for a uh, half the amount of uh, carrots that were planted, so yeah, I still think that these fields are more efficient. Oh well, suddenly it's snowing again. So, all right. Well, anyway, guess I'm gonna be ending the episode here. So, I think things are going good. Let's hope that uh, they continue going this way. So, thank you very much for watching. 